What's going on guys, Paul here, back with my XJ470 quad. And I'm gonna be doing some uh, work on the landing gear today. So this is uh, an issue I addressed in my last video. Uh, some people that have this frame complain about the weak landing gear, carbon fiber rods. And uh, so as you can see right here, uh, both of them are broken. Let's see if I could zoom in, focus. You can see that one's uh, broken probably about 65 70 percent of the way through and um, the other one is also cracked too but it's not quite as bad i'd probably say this is about 45 50 percent crack through and uh, so what i'm going to be doing today is uh, there's a couple different fixes for this one is just uh you know buy another carbon fiber tube uh, a thicker one and uh, another fix uh, that i've seen is people have stuck wooden uh, dowels through here and then just epoxied them in there that seems to work um, and that's actually what I'm gonna do so I have a, a wooden a hardwood dowel rod here and this is a, a 3 8 inch wooden rod I got this from Home Depot and I'm gonna cut this down to size and this actually won't fit inside the tube and so it's about um, it's about 10 millimeters thick, uh, maybe slightly less, uh, but it doesn't fit inside the tube. So I'm going to have to sand it down a little bit. And uh, so I got some 60 grit sandpaper here, and I'm just going to lightly sand it. Um, you know, cut this to length, of course. That's about I don't know how many millimeters that is. Uh, I'll measure that and cut it. I have a little saw here. And uh, so yeah, cut that down, sand it, and then stick it in there. And if I need to, I'll stick some epoxy in there. I'll probably cut it slightly shorter than this tube. Maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe maybe 10 millimeters shorter than the entire tube. Just so, you know, you don't need it to come all the way out to the very end. But all right, so I'll be right back once I get that done. All right, so I got the first piece of wood cut here. So this carbon fiber or whatever the hell this material is, it's about 225 millimeters long, and this piece of wood is about about a centimeter shorter, so about 115 uh, millimeters that I cut this piece of wood. So I'll cut another piece of wood about this size, and then I'll start sanding. All right, just finished the first wooden dowel here. Sanded the hell out of it. It actually took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take because I did it by hand. I highly recommend using a uh, electric sander if you're going to do this. But um, it fits nice and snug. So uh, let's see, you can push it a little bit further in from one side. And uh, there's no damn way this shit's gonna break. It's nice and strong now. All right, so let's do the second one. All right, got the second piece done here. Went ahead and colored the ends of these black with a black permanent marker. So let's go ahead and slide this in there. This piece is even more snug than the first one I made, which is good. It's nice and tight. I'm going to have a hard time getting this thing out if I ever need to. I don't see why I would need to. And let's go ahead and mount this on the quad and check the difference. I can already tell this thing is pretty solid as it is. All right, got the landing gear mounted on. And there is a big difference. Much more stiff than before. Not worried at all about a front heavy landing. When these landing gear rods were uh, not cracked, they were... I would never do something like this, you know, push the front down on it because um, you could force these to break just by going like that. But pretty cheap mod. <laughs> this is only like $1.88 for this long rod. It was like 48 inches. So uh, so that's how I fixed my uh, XJ470 pretty damn weak carbon fiber landing gear. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.